We are five in number. We lost four of them, and I was the only survivor among them. So, and then um, it took the grace of God for me to also survive it because I was like two days unconscious. family so um we, we have here with us one gentleman over here and um for those of you who have been using the Accra Medina road um to Legon road i think a whole lot of people know this guy i'm standing here with and um he's a very strong guy and all that he doesn't let his disability to you know take over him and stop and today i'm going to have an interview with him on his daily struggles on the streets so so what's your name my name is Moses Masan. So starting from the very beginning, um, sorry to say, were you born with this disability? No. How did it happen? It was an auto accident from a friend's wedding and then we had a crash. We have uh, an accident that leads to the application of this leg. I'm standing. We are five in number. We lost four of them and I was the only survivor among them. So, and then um, it took the grace of God for me to also survive it because I was like two days unconscious. So, uh, here I am standing by the grace of God. Yes. So, um, how, how come, how did it start? Actually, I was here in Accra to play a booty football. Okay. And uh, when I came, the story changed that the league has been postponed due to the crisis in the management. So, and um, and I, I sat down and, and think, one, I am not good in going to the roadside and start begging. Yes. And then, and God gave me an idea of this which I started with just, I think, 25 CDs. Buy, shoe polish, the quick shine. I started with it. And um, the very first day I make at least like 100 CDs. And I went the next day and bought more things. That is how it started. That is how it started. And God has been very faithful. God has been using people to bless me. And that has been helping me to take good care of my family and even giving my children one of the best, I mean, quality education, let me put it that way, which is my priority. If I cannot go to school, at least my children should be able to go to school. Yes, and that is what I have been struggling and working for. And God has been faithful over the few years. Do you sometimes feel dishonored doing all these things? No, I have never allowed this to weigh me down because this should not be an excuse for me to sit down and say that I cannot do it anymore because my upstairs is not affected so for the fact that I'm physically challenged my brain is not challenged so I can use my brain to achieve whatsoever I want to achieve many have done it before so I'm not the first person and I've always looked at those who have passed through it and I've made it. I also want to make it in life, which I'm very sure, by the grace of God, I will. Do you sometimes get discouraged? No. No. And why I said no? Because I've always used the word of God to encourage myself. Definitely it will come. Discouragement will come. But I've always used the word of God to encourage myself. Yes. What motivates you every day? The word of God. Yes, because God is not respectant of any man. He can use anybody. He can bless anybody. As long as you are connected and obedient to his words. And do you have, do you have like let's say your mates or people whom you started life with? Like physically challenging. Yeah, the person who invited me here is also a physically challenged person. 
And by the grace of God, he has also been selling since he, he realized I was also selling on the street. If you go to Okwebia, he's, he's always at Okwebia. Sometimes he come here. If you look at up there, he's up there with at the other lane. And he was the one who invited me here. And I came because he was playing the apotheek before. So, and um, he's also, and then other people who God have connected me with through this, the church. I worship. How many children do you have? I have four kids. What? Yes, two boys, two girls. Yes. What's the least amount you get in a year? In a year? In a day? In the a least day. amount you get in a year? It's like 50 cities. That's the least. And the 50 cities, how do you maintain that with your four kids? Yeah, I... You know, sometimes when the blessings come, we, we normally get the full stop in the house. So at least the day we didn't sell, the day I didn't sell, my wife is also, she's also plating her. She's not just sitting down in the house, being a housewife. She's doing one or two things to also help, to assist. So we both come together and then make the family survive. Yes. If someone is to help you, what kind of help would you need? Oh, sincerely speaking, all my plan is at least I should have something to, I mean, something that I will establish. I know I'm going to the store, from the store back home, not continue to be on the streets. Yes. To have a business that I will have a place like a store, no matter how small it is. I don't mind. No matter how small, I don't mind. Like I told you, I started this with 25 cities. Yes, 25 cities. I didn't look at it as small. I don't care no matter how small it's going to be. I can start it. And I'll be grateful to And I'll be very grateful to it. And I'll be diligent and be committed to it. And I know this God will see it through. Yes, sir. So, like, what amount would you want to start that business with? Yes, sir. Um, you know, things are expensive now. My plan is not even air refresh now. It's to buy shoes like I used to buy. Even now, I used to buy folk shoes. On Sundays, after church, I go to 37 or Spanner, the, the overhead bridge, and spray them there and sell with women bags. So if I can get like from 5,000 upward, I think I will start with it. Yes. With this thing you are doing in a day, how much do you make? Yeah, I make like 100 CDs a day. Sometimes above. Yeah, sometimes less than that. But God has been faithful because He said in everything, give thanks to Him. So I'm always thankful to Him. Even if I come, I didn't get anything. I always give thanks to God. Yes. There are so many people who can pass by in a day. So like, let's say in a day, um, do you get gifts from people? Do people help you? Yes. In any way? yes, every day, people help me. Every blessed day. Because why I'm getting such amount from 100 cities or 50 cities upward, not from the air refresher. Because the air refresher, you can only get a gain of maybe two cities, five cities, highest five cities from one. So how many are you going to sell? <laughs> So, but people, people come, they buy some, they leave the change for you. Some, they said, okay, take this one and buy water. Some, they say, take this one for lunch. Some, they say, take this one and add it to your business. Like that. People has been helpful. Yes. The act of people giving you everything every day, does it encourage you every day to do more? Yeah, it's, it's encouraged me. Because the more people see you, it's like they are encouraged them themselves. They admired for the fact that you are like this and you are not sitting down by the roadside. So it motivates you to do more. To do more. It motivates me. I don't know others, but it motivates me to do more. Not because of, not because they are giving me. It motivates me for me to also make it and be a giver to people. Yes, sir. Don't you have any educational backgrounds? What's your education? Only my secondary school. Secondary school. I, yes. I didn't finish my college. I went to, I went for College of Agriculture, studying animal husbandry, but I couldn't finish. 
Yes, I stop along the way. Is it the only air refresh now you want to do? If someone is supposed to help you get a job and do a different thing, won't, won't you want that? Of course, I will. I will. What kind of job? What are what are some of your skills? I would, kind of... love, I would love to to manage a farm, a poultry farm, because um I've learned it not only in school. I grew up with my uncle who was a, who was a vet, who is a veterinary doctor. Yes, and I've learned a lot. Practically, God has given me that uh, wisdom to manage a poultry farm and fish farm as well. Yes, or manage a business because I've been op- equally been managing people's business as well. But the current state of our economy, like the hardship in it, how has it affected you? You see, the Bible said, uh, when others are saying there is a casting down, who will say there is a lifting up? Yes. And he said, in the days of farming, he will satisfy us. That is exactly what is happening to me. Yes, I have no complaint. Yes. Thank you.